You turn toward me and look so weak. I've never seen you with such tired eyes. And everything we said we'd be, we just traded for a suit coat and a tie. What is up guys, Levi Peterson here back at it with another YouTube video. Today I'm going to give you a quick update along with a new fish. I, this fish is honestly one of the, like it's not very common in the hobby. It is among a common species in the hobby called clown goby or coral goby. Um, I got myself a white lined clown goby. Now these guys are actually pretty rare in the hobby, you don't see them very often. Um, a lot of the suppliers out um, around and everything just don't get them in very often when they do they're usually pretty high priced but I got mine for a really good deal so well for someone special actually so um, I'm gonna show you what this guy looked like he's in a little clear container right now um, I acclimated him to the water and everything and then I'm gonna kind of give you a quick update on the 75 gallon reef um, so we're gonna kind of show you this little clown goby and then we're gonna get him in the tank This guy is literally about an inch and a half long. He doesn't have much color on him right now He's not very like pretty, but he is really cool when he gets in this aquarium um, Hopefully he does really good. He actually looks like a really healthy clown goby came out of big tank and everything So here's a clown goby. I'm trying to get you a better view Maybe I'll get you a better view in the aquarium but he has like black and white stripes on the side of him and he's just pretty and he has black spots on his head Which is really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and put him in the tank and hopefully I can get you some good shots of this guy All right guys, so I have a very fine knitting net in here and we're gonna get him out I don't want to affect his slime coat very much He's in the net and if you want to come over and look to the aquarium close to the aquarium, I'll get the release here um, And he's in the aquarium at the moment and maybe I can get you close up against the glass here. There he goes. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. He is currently behind the fake piece of coral into the other piece of coral that used to be alive. And he's hiding in there, which is really cool. I love clown gobies and how they hide in coral and everything. It is just very cool. Eventually, hopefully, I can get another one of these guys and get them bred in the aquarium. Other than that, a quick update on everything. I have a sea bay anemone, and I don't know why it's in the weirdest spot it could possibly be, but it is. And we have a yellowtail damsel in here now. Hopefully he does good. So far, it's been almost a day, and he's been doing really well. So we're going to see how that goes for him. If he starts affecting any of the other fish, then he is going to get thrown in with a three-striped damsel, which is probably going to end up killing him. I don't really want to do that, but if he starts affecting my reef, then he's out of here. Um, they are reef safe, but they can tend to be mean. This is one of the friendliest species there is of the damsels. So, like I said, I'm going to give him a shot and hopefully he will do really well. And I'm kind of hoping these clowns take this sea bay after it gets attached and spread out. Because I really don't know why it's there right now, but it chose that spot. So, I guess it's going to stay there for right now. I'm going to flip the camera around, do a little more talking, and that's kind of going to be a wrap for this video. Well, guys... Thanks for watching this video. I was really excited to get this one of a kind clown goby. He's currently hiding in there. I'm not gonna be able to see him very much until feeding time, which is gonna be a little bit later. If he comes out during feeding, I will uh, get it on camera and everything. But if not, then it's obviously not gonna be on this video. He will be on a couple more videos, hopefully, if he gets out and about, which doesn't happen very often, so it's gonna, gonna be a rare occasion. But I'm really excited to see how he does in this aqu aquarium, and I may possibly add a couple more clown gobies. Um, I was, the original plan was to add lots of cl different colored clown gobies in the tank. And then I kind of decided, well, let's just go with the bigger citron goby. But now I got offered a white line goby, and I couldn't resist, so I took them. And, well, the fire goby came out. Well, this fire goby loves to hide, and he's not out very often, which kind of stinks. But anyways, I would like to thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, um, comment below. I do have an Instagram page. Go follow that. Hit the red button. Don't forget to be the fish and get outdoors, and we'll see you next time.